Yeah, hello. This is Beanie's uncle, Captain Hoppenpot, speaking. And this little ship is our home. In fact, it's the only home Beanie Boy has ever known. <laughs> but actually, it isn't the kind of a place to raise a growing boy. No, he should have a house with his own room and a big yard to play in. In looking through the paper, I came upon something interesting in the haunt ads. A two-ghost story mansion buried in the Hollywood Hills, formerly owned by a famous mystery writer. For sale, the Edgar Allan Poe House. <laughs> so, uh, that evening we decided to drive out and look the place over. Under a gorgeous full moon. And now here's Beanie and Cecil in a Bob Clampett cartoon. <laughs> Beanie and Cecil meet the Invisible Man. Look, Uncle Captain, there's the Edgar Allan Poe house now. Golly, that house looks haunted. <laughs> Look at me. Peekaboo, I see you. Nonsense, boy. It's just your imaginary. Well, well let's ring the doorbell. Gosh, Edgar Allen is just a poe shadow of his former self. Tweeting, fellows. Welcome to my wish for we tweet. <laughs> May we take a very quick look around your poor house, sir? It's a pleasure. <laughs> now, this is my wampus room. And if you're interested in heraldry, here is my coat of arms. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that a clunk in the head? And this is Payne's Boo Woo's world-renowned masterpiece, the lovely Boo Boy. And here's a portrait of my dearly beloved old mummy. Boop. And here is my playroom. Never more! Not afraid, are you, Cease? Heck no! My skin's always lavender. Now this was a form of torture used in the Roman days. And this torture was used during the reign of Henry VIII. Hey, what's that? That's one of the latest forms. Television. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> and now, fellows, I'd like for you to meet my permanent pool house guest, the Invisible Man. Hmm, the Invisible Man? I'd recognize him anywhere. No, no, Cecil. He's invisible. You can't possibly see him. Not even by appointment? Why don't you little rascals go relax and watch television while your Uncle Horatio and I transact the widow business? Let's go, Horatio. Okay, Mr. Richlouse, or I mean, Poe South. No, see, it's not Poe House, it's Richlouse. Now you got me doing it. Tell me, Mr. Raven, is there anything good on television? <laughs> Never more. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to This Was Your Life. The following program is brought to you in unliving color. And now, it's time for the Scary Como Show. Brought to you this week by Boris's Car Lot. And now, tonight's spooktacular. But first, a word from our alternate sponsor. Friends, have you tried Dr. Jekyll juice? It's guaranteed to tan your hide. Here, take a sip and see how fast it clears your head. Close the raven. Never more! Ah! So sit back and relax. Reach for a bottle of Dr. Jekyll juice. Why, before you know it, you'll feel like an entirely different person. And now a word from our alternate, alternate sponsor. Friends, are you constantly troubled with the cold? A cold what? Do you ever wake up with a splitting head? Are you troubled with a pounding in your head? 
Anybody got an aspirin? Are you beginning to see things that aren't there? Am I? You're dirty tootin'. Let's get out of here! Uncle Captain? Uncle Captain? The Invisible Man is loose again! <laughs> Well, Mr. Invisible Man, you will win another transaction. You're a naughty, naughty little wascal. <laughs> Cause there's no place like home.